In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Visual Studio Integrated Development Environment and how to create a GUI design interface. Okay, so let's get started by creating a new project. Windows Forms application. We are going to call this Lesson 02. Okay, so now let's get started with the um, main part here of the Visual C Sharp uh, Express Edition. We have our big designer surface. And this is where you're going to be doing the most of your uh, graphical user interface design. And along with that, we have the toolbox. The toolbox contains uh, most of the .NET controls that you will be using. There are ways to get more of them, but these are the main controls that you will be using. As you see, we have the basic stuff that you can include in a form, like pointer, buttons, checkboxes, uh, labels, and all of that good stuff. So, like in the last tutorial, um, if you want to um, add content to your form, all you have to do is drag and drop. And as you see, it is fully customizable so you can change the size of your buttons. And also, it includes uh, little guidelines where you can line up your uh, button to make them look even. And, and you can also use these guidelines to make um, your controls line up with each other. And as you see, um, there are tabs uh, separating the uh, different types of controls that you can get. With the commons controls, which contain your basic stuff. Uh, containers, which include stuff that you can use to organize your controls like uh, tabs, menus and toolbars, which includes like the menu strip, which is that uh, popular little strip up here where you can um, create menus. Or in like the status strip, where you can have your little status thing right here. And a lot of these controls have little smaller controls where you can put in some of your stuff. We have our data, which is used with a database and other um, database uh, data binding, which we will discuss later in this series of tutorials. We have our components. We have our printing controls. And we have our dialogues. Now the printing and dialogue, we will not, well, we may discuss them in this series of videos, but we won't uh, go over them very much. But I may discuss them in a later uh, series of videos, which will be uh, based on .NET, or something along those lines. Okay, so that's uh, most of the designer, but there's a one critical thing which is not here, which is the properties window. So we're going to have to view this. And this is a very important part of your designer. All these little things, they're called objects in the C Sharp language and in .NET in general, which means it's also for Visual Basic and C++.NET and F-Sharp and etc. And all these objects in C Sharp have what are called properties and they are displayed in the properties window. The properties window will contain every single property that is possible to be uh, used or modified on the button. And there's like the popular one called the text property where we can change the text. As you see, we can uh, modify the properties of your controls or objects using the designer surface or so what, what it's called but you can also change it in code which we will discuss later and you can also change it using the properties window now we're going to see uh, further extensibility and customization options 
Now, a visual uh, C Sharp Express Edition doesn't really have much extensibility. There's no way to have add-ins or other features, but that is not needed for this series of tutorials, which you are going to strictly cover the C Sharp uh, programming language. But as you see in the options, we have some options here which may be useful. Now up here we have our debug, or also are known as our uh, compile menu, which will allow us to run our applications. And as you saw in our previous video, you can press this little green button and it will allow us to compile and run our applications. And also, we have our projects menu, which allows you to add new items. And also, this button will act as the same. So when we click on this, it will allow us to add new stuff, like new forms. And as you see, we have a new empty form, and we can add a new content. Okay. That was it for this uh, video uh, demonstrating how to uh, move around in a Visual C Sharp Express Edition and how to design a graphical user interface. In the next video, we're going to be discussing uh, more on code. And that's it for this tutorial. Uh, for more tutorials, please go to thehackersjournal.com.